रहीम बसमीम अल्लाम वरम वरक सूरतुल्कहब विल कंटिन्यू फ्राम आया नंबर नाइन नाउ द फर्स्ट स्टोरी बिगिनस फ्राम आया नंबर नाइन द फर्स्ट स्टोरी इज़ अबाउट द यंगस्टर्स द यंगस्टर्स हो मूवड जस्ट फॉर द तोहिद أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا؟ Do you think that the people of Kahf and Ar-Raqim were a wonder among our signs? So here the people of Kahf. So the first story is أبيل فتية إلى الكهف فقالوا. So when the young men fled for refuge to Al-Kahf, and they just moved and they made the dua, Rabbana adina min ladun ka rahmatan, rahmatan wa hayi lana min amri na rashada. Our Lord, bestow on us mercy from yourself, and facilitate for us our affairs in the right way. So they are making dua to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. For the Rabb na ala azani him fil kahfi sinina adada. Therefore, we covered up their hearing in al kahf for number of years. Summa ba asna hum li na ala ma ayul hisbani ahsa li ma la bisu amada. Then we raised them up that we might test which of the two parties was best at calculating time period they tarried. So from ayah number nine to twelve, we'll cover the tafsir. So the story, the people of Kahf. Here Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala tell us about the story of people of Kahf in brief and in general term. Then he explain its more detail. Allah says, "Am hasibta? Do you think, O Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, anna ashab al kahfi wa raqimi kanu min ayatina ajaba? The people of kahf and raqim were a wonder among our signs, meaning their case was not something." Amazing compared to our power and ability, you know, for the creation of heaven and earth, the alteration of the night and the day, and the subjugation of the sun, moon, and heavenly bodies, and other mighty signs indicate the great power of Allah, and shows that He is able to do. Whatever He wills, who Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala can do, whatever Allah wills, and He wills, He is not incapable of doing more amazing things than the story of people of Kahf. So here we see, Am Hasib Tarna Ashab Al Kahfi Wa Rakim Min Da Ayat Din Ajaba. The people of Kahf and Rakim were a wonder among our signs. Means among our signs are things that are more amazing than this. So, do you think that people of Kahf and Rakim were a wonder among our signs? Means Allah says, "I had given you of knowledge the Sunna and the uh, book, which is far better than the story of Al Kahf and Rakim." Means, yani Quran. In Tafsir, we see, "I have shown my creatures." A proof more amazing than the story of people of Kahf and Rakim. Kahf refers to a cave in a mountain, which is where the young man sought refuge. So we see the word Kahf in ayah number nine, Surah Al Kahf, and it is a cave in a mountain, which is where you know young man sought the refuge. With regard to the word Ar Rakim. Okay, a rakim. It is a valley near Ayla, and this was also said in another narration that 
for kahaf it is a cave in the valley and rakim is the name of the valley whereas mujahid said a rakim refers to the buildings it refers to the valley in which their cave was and a rakim kaab used to say it was the town but ibn abbas said a rakim is the mountain in which the cave was Said bin Jubair said a rakim is a tablet of stone on which they wrote the story of the people of Kahaf cave then they placed it at the entrance of the cave is awwal fitiyat to remember when young man fled for refuge al kahf they said our lord best to honors mercy from yourself and facilitate for us a phase in the right way here allah tells us about those young men who fled from their people for the sake of their religion fearing persecution so they fled taking refuge in the cave of a mountain where they hide from their people when they entered the cave they ask allah to show mercy and kindness towards them and what do they made rabbana atina min ladunka rahmatan wa hayyi lana min amrina rashada our lord bestow on us mercy from yourself and facilitate for us our affairs in the right way so they made this dua <coughs> excuse me they are asking mercy of allah and they want facilitate in the right way they want hidayah so in hadith we learn whatever you have decreed for us make its consequences good so we covered up their hearing in the cave for number of years meaning we caused them to sleep when they entered the cave and they slept for many years sorry it was not hadith i mean to say <coughs> in the following aya how they slept for number of years so in aya number 9 or you have you thought that the companions of the cave and the inscription were among our sign a wonder now the story of people of kahf cave is mentioned and this is amazing mention when the youths retreat to the cave so why do they go to cave to protect their iman faith and they said our lord grant us from yourself mercy when they made the dua rabbana atina min ladunka rahmatan rahmatan wa hayyi lana min amrina rashada means grant us from yourself mercy and prepare for us from our affair right guidance meaning correct our affairs for us guidance so that which is best so they were youth you know young man a group of them who left their home who left their city why just to protect their iman protect their faith because the king of that time had instructed that any person who believes who renounces idolatry should be killed so people were being persecuted so on the one hand they didn't want to be persecuted on the other hand they don't want to compromise on their iman so what did they do they left they went they hide in the cave so compare ourselves with this youth if allah guided them can allah guide us too can he for a, for sure our situation is not worse than theirs what was going on in their life what was their priorities what were their interest what was their goals what is that i am running to protect i am trying to achieve you see when a person reach uh, maturity baluga then his deeds are recorded and he will be re- rewarded or punished for those deeds because you know before that person doesn't know like he's a child so just because we are young and by young i mean teenagers or a little older that doesn't mean that we have the license to sin no we are now counted in the adults 
and our deeds are being recorded. I am addressing to everyone. Look at the youths. What are they doing? They are running to preserve their Iman. Know what happens? Other people are running to preserve our faith. They are begging us to preserve our faith. Youth is the prime of our lives. It's the time when we have to be most productive. It is the time when we learn. When we do something, because uh, as a person ages and the responsibility increases, then what happens? The mind slows down. The body becomes weak. So many responsibilities. You cannot uh, do what you want to do. Right now, you have your freedom to what you want. Each day, each night, don't wait for when you will turn 20, 30, 40, 50. Don't wait for that. When you will uh, become like, you know, more age. Do it now. Good deeds. There's a hadith. Prophet Wasallam said, Allah will shade to seven on the day when there will be no shade. But his one of them will be a youth who has brought up in the ibadah worship of Allah. A youth person who spent their youth in the obedience to Allah. Who chooses to obey Allah. And a person who is young, who is young and yet he chooses to obey Allah. Then Allah is happy with him. In hadith we learn that this is silsila to sahiha. Indeed your Lord is amazed at the youth in whom there is no sabu. What is sabu? Like you know it is a mil ilallahu. It is basically inclination to have fun, to pursue sensual desires, to fulfill them. You could say youthful passion. This is what sabu. So the person who has such control over themselves at time where they could be partying, sleeping and uh, oversleeping, they are making themselves uh, uh, like carried away in this dunya and that moment of time you program yourself and make yourself read Quran. Allah is amazed at such people because they can do all the things which go in a different direction but they are doing for the sake of Allah to please Allah they are praying or doing Quran you know Allah likes such people who chooses to obey Allah because you know exactly what is on uh, hijab that amazing near Allah it is amazing near Allah for a person to be able to get up for Fajr and that amazing near Allah so never think that your effort is not recognized if the people around us don't recognize our struggles Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will do you know many times we think okay nobody is acknowledging what I am doing it that's good because Allah will so here in ayah number 9, companions of the cave and the inscription where among our signs a wonder. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the dua and how they made the dua. They prayed to Allah for guidance because it is only Allah who guides his servants and only the one who is guided by Allah is truly guided. So we see here. These youths, they left their homes in order to protect their deen. This was in a way hijra. And people also had to make hijra. Remember the earth is vast. And there's many many opportunities in the world. So when you are fo faced with a... Yani, you have given an option. Which is not uh, permissible for you as a Muslim. Then don't think that is only option for you. This world has many opportunities. Ask Allah subhanahu wa Yani, you know, this is not an easy decision. It was really hard, but still they did it. So then what happened? The story continues. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respond to their dua and save them. How we cast cover of uh, sleep over their ears within the cave for a number of years. 
imagine they are in the cave in self isolation and allah subhanahu wa taala granted them such security they they fell asleep so here the story continues and how fadarabna ala azanihim fil kahfi sinina adada so allah subhanahu wa taala responded to their dua and saved them how we cast cover of sleep over their ears within the cave for number of years so they were sleeping by the permission of allah so we raised them up from that slumber and one of them went out with his dirham silver coin to buy them some food as it was discussed in more detail so allah says summa basna hum linalum ayyul hisbain then we raised them up that we might test which of the two parties meaning the two parties who disputed about them asalima labisu amada was the best at calculating the time period they tarried it was said that this refers to how long they stayed in the cave so this story continues nahnu naqus walaika naba'uhum bil haqq we narrated to you the story with truth so this story is narrated to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is uh, mentioned this story through revelation wahi truly they were young men who believe in their lord and allah and we increase them in the guidance warabatna ala qulubihim is qaum fa qalu rabbana rabbus samawati wal ard لن ندوى من دونه آلهة لقد قلنا إذا شتت. and we made their hearts firm and strong when they stood up and said, our Lord is the Lord of heaven and the earth. never shall we call upon any god other than Him. if we did, we should indeed, indeed have uttered an enormity and disbelief. so they know Islamic monotheism from Ayah number twelve to fifteen. we awaken them we might show which of the two faction was most precise in calculating what extent they had remained in time it is we who relate to you means the story in truth indeed they were youths means they were young people who believe in allah and we increase them in guidance and we made firm their hearts then they stood up and said our lord is the lord of heaven and earth never we invoke beside him any deity we would have certainly spoken then an excessive transgression so we see a uh, allah subhanahu wa taala strengthen their heart and allah gave them courage because of which they were able to declare their faith openly because of which they were able to stay calm and confident in the face of opposition so you see it wasn't a easy decision though so allah subhanahu wa taala is relating this story to who to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and then the story continues here how the youngsters they awake and they were uh, turning and twisting then uh, these our people have taken besides him dear this why do they not bring for worship of them clear authority and who is more unjust than one who invents about like yani here talking about islamic monotheism this youngsters believe in one allah they said to one another when you have withdrawn from them and which they worship other than allah retreat to cave you know they made a plan they didn't just go up about randomly your lord will spread out for you his mercy will prepare for you from your affair facility so they decided where they were going to and they were going to hide in the cave they expected help from allah they expected allah's mercy they expected facility and ease from allah so we need to check ourselves what do we expect from allah what kind of duas do we make when we are in hardship because allah subhanahu wa taala says i am as my servant thinks i am and had you been present you would have seen the sun when it rose in climbing away from their cave on right so they would be undisturbed by the light of the sun which is why they are comfortably slept 
look at how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help came. You know, when we sleep, we want to make sure we put the curtains on and then we want total darkness. So Allah made it natural. And when it is said passing away from them on left while they were laying within an open space thereof. So it was airy, it was roomy, you know. That was from the sign of Allah. He whom Allah guides is the rightly guided. But he whom he leaves astray never will you find for him a protecting guide. So the fact is that Allah subhanahu wa is able to guide his servant no matter what situation the servants are in. But we have to ask for the hidayah guidance. We have to take the step one. Just youth took the first step towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So any person who is going through, they are in any country, Muslim or not, they have to take step one. So had you been present, you would see how the sun inclining away from there and cave on the right. Meaning these people, when they were sleeping in the cave, how comfortably they were sleeping and they have the you know air they have the nice uh, coolness and uh, they are not disturbed with the sunlight so and you would think them awake while they were asleep and we turn them to the right and to the left while the dog stretched his four legs at the entrance if you had a look at them you would have turned from them in flight and been filled by them. Yani, how the things were. If you had looked them, you would have turned from them in flight and been filled by them with horror, with terror. So what do you see here? Because the dog was sitting in front of entrance, people get scared because the dog is, you know, watching it. It's like, a, you know... For the security you could say he, the dog was outside the entrance so here you know we see that these people actually slept in the cave for a very very long time and how come nobody woke them up because if anybody ever come to the mouth of the cave they would be scared afraid on seeing these people sleeping in the cave so whether it was day or night, cold or hot, these young men were sound sleep, safe from all danger that were outside the cave. And this happened for many years and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them security. And when they were surrounded by hardship, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is capable of doing that. When you see only hardship and difficulty and frightening things around you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is able to grant you peace, calmness, but you have to turn towards Allah. You have to take the step one. Many times it happens, you know, you get scared, you don't know at that moment what you have to just make dua, make dua, that's it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will help you. And similarly, we awaken them. Like, you know, this is after 300 years and they might question one another. And it is said when they fell asleep, it was beginning of the day. And the time that they woke up 300 years was at the end of the day. And they asked each other, said a speaker from among them, how long have you remained? They said, we have remained a day or a part of the day. They said, our Lord is most knowing of how long you remain. This is not irrelevant. Like, you know, there is no benefit in trying to find out how long, who they are, what they are. What they did, that is important. So send one of you with the silver coin of yours to the city and let him look uh, to which is the best of the food and be, bring your provision from it and let him be cautious and let the, uh, one be aware of it. Subhanallah, everybody didn't go. One person went. And what is he do? Find the food, azka, purest and cleanest. Means most halal. Then they said, be careful. You should not draw unnecessary attention. So, Iman doesn't mean that a person become careless. You have to be careful. Their lives were in danger. This is why they had to take extra care when they go out in the world. Indeed, if they come to know of you, they will stone you or return you to their 
religion and never would be success and then ever and similarly we cause them to be found and similarly we cause them to be found they who found them would know and the promise of Allah is truth of the hour there is no doubt subhanallah because this was after 300 years so when he went to buy the food the currency the money was ancient and this is how it was known that these people yani they were missing for so long so they had actually been sleeping for so long this uh, revealed the truth the religion that we are upon of belief in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone so because allah caused them to wake up after 300 years and he preserved their body subhanallah is able to do anything that was when they disputed among themselves about their affair and then said construct over them a structure because you know very soon after that this youth they actually died so the people they wondered what should we do so they said okay let's build a structure over their graves so their Lord is most knowing about them, said those who prevail in the matter, we will surely take for ourselves over them a mosque, meaning we will build a house of uh, worship over their graves. And remember, this is something that is not allowed because it leads to the worship other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is uh, prohibited in ayah number 21. So, and... Uh, so it was like you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is uh, uh, here saying not to make the like graves your place of worship. You can't make the place of worship isn't it? So similarly we cause them to found out they who found them would know that the promise of Allah is truth and that of the hour there is no doubt. That was when they disputed among themselves about their affair and then said, construct over them a structure. The Lord is most knowing about them. Said, those are prevailing in the matter. We will surely take uh, ourselves over them. Means masjid. Now, how many were there? How long they stay for? How long did they sleep in the cave? Allah knows. And they will say they were three. Meaning the people will say. Fourth of them being dog. They will say they were four. Sixth of them being their dog. Guessing at the unseen. And they will say they were seven. And eight of them were their dog. Say my Lord is most knowing of their number. So none knows them except a few. So do not argue about them. Except with the obvious argument. Do not inquire about them among the spectacular or from anyone. So what do we learn from this? The details Allah kept to himself. He left them obscure so that we don't forget the message. The lesson of the story, stories that is why Allah has become an ilmi la yanfo. Because we are not concerned how many. Wala taqulanna li shayin. And never say of anything that indeed I will do tomorrow. Except when adding if Allah wills. You should say insha Allah. And remember your Lord. Then you forget it and it says, perhaps my Lord will guide me what is near than its to right conduct. So we see we should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the rush, like you know, guidance, make the right decision and always say, I will do it tomorrow, inshallah. So Prophet used to play, Allahumma sa'iz, dika, uh, oh, oh Allah, I seek your guidance for the most correct of my affairs so arshidi amri wa'auzubika min sharri nafsi meaning what i should do please guide me to and i seek your protection from the evil of my soul so because sometimes you can't distinguish right it is the right thing to do uh, or not so ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they remain in the cave for 300 years years and exceeded by nine three hundred and nine say allah is most knowing of how long they remain he has knowledge of the unseen of the heaven and earth how seeing is he and how hearing they have not besides him any protector he shares not his legislation with anyone so what is the lesson in the story of people of care that if a person does not compromise with regard to this deen and trust on, uh, on Allah, seeking Allah's help, asking Allah to correct the affairs, then Allah will open up such ways that you can't even imagine. When this 
youngsters left their city they didn't know they would be put to sleep for hundred of years in the cave they could, couldn't do it it wasn't within their ability how did the, that happen they asked Allah's help they left it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped them so this was informed through wahi to prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam patlu ma uhiya ilayka min kitabi rabbika la mubaddila li kalimatihi wa lan tajida min dunihi multahada and recite o prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what has been revealed to you of the book of your lord so allah is telling us to recite the book tilawa especially when is it we should recite the book the whole year especially more in the ramadan time there is no changer of his words never will you find in the other than him or a refuge keep yourself patient with those who call upon their lord in the morning and the evening seeking his countenance jazakallah khairan kaseera will end here subhanakallah wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh